Well, as you know, we're celebrating Catholic Schools Week, so I'm down here in Johnstown now at Bishop McCourt High School, which also houses some students from Divine Mercy Elementary. Let's go inside and give it a look. As we walked into the school, it was clear that they were really focused on developing the student as a whole, both academically and within their faith. It, it gives them a great head start, uh, not just from a, a learning uh, environment, but also with the religious, uh, with the religious aspect of things. It gets them off to a great start, and we, you know, we have, we like to think that we have the gold standard in education here. So we start them off at a young age, and they can go pre-K all the way to grade 12 being exposed to different things with the Catholic faith and also the gold standard in education. All students have great potential, but when you, when you bring them into this system, we give them that background uh, that, that they need to, to have success in their lives and just to be you know, a good human being. We, we have virtues, we have values here that we promote, um, and, and it's just all day long we do that with the kids. The focus on setting their students up for success has been, well, successful. Uh, when, you, when you go K to 12, in, in the, uh, the placement in college is 97% placement, it's pretty good. One of the ways they do this is by keeping ahead of the curve with their technology programs. And of course our STREAM program. Uh, other schools refer to it as STEM, uh, but here we do it a little bit different. We have, we're adding the R and the A, religious and uh, in the arts to it. Uh, that's a relatively new program here. We've pumped about $400,000 into that program uh, pre-K to grade 8. Uh, we have a brand new lab behind me here uh, at Bishop McCourt uh, where the students are learning about all kinds of innovative things and how to become problem solvers. And We think that that program combined with the ACE program, combined with the environment that we have here, really offers something different to the, to the students in our area. They believe that this not only sets them up to be ready for college, but a career later in life as well. So many, so many right now in, in 2019, so many careers are related to STEM. Uh, most of the, I, I believe it's seven out of 10, don't quote me on that, but I think it's close to that uh, real high number of, or, of career fields or what's available is related directly to STEM, uh, STEM fields or STEM, STEM courses. So to have these offerings and especially starting in seventh grade is a just a great experience for the students. But of course the foundation of everything they do at a Catholic school is in their faith. Father William Rosenbaum says that the most important thing they do is teach religion as a way of life. Religion is not just something in a book that they learn but it's a spiritual life that, that they live. And so that's what we try here at Bishop McCord. Religion permeates everything that we do. And so uh, even when we have mass, uh, like today we had mass with the bishop and the students uh, do the readings, they lead the singing, uh, they do different uh, things like that that in other schools perhaps they, you know, they, they, they don't have that opportunity to do that. So Bishop McCourt has great academics and great life teachings, and they're not too shabby when it comes to athletics either. Athletically, we're, we're, we're very proud of our students and the history of the school. You know, we've, we've had some students, uh, you know, we have had, say, football players, uh, Pete Duranco, who played at Notre Dame, and also for the Broncos, uh, Jack Ham, who came to school here, was with the Steelers. And, but it's just not the ones that go to the, you know, to the professional level, uh, you know, but uh, when we win the, the districts in this sport or that sport, uh, it's really great. But also we realize that in athletics, you know, we learn how to do things in life too, because in life sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But chances are, if you're a student at Bishop McCourt, you feel like a winner.